Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just hopped in my car to drive somewhere and I wanted to just quickly film a little video on the topic of not comparing your problems to other people's problems. So this topic I think is really important because I think a lot of times when we're going through something, sometimes we minimize it by comparing it to other people's experiences or other people's problems. Like, I don't know if you've experienced this, but maybe you've gone through something, but then you've told yourself, yeah, but these people have it much worse. And I think the problem with minimizing your own problems is that it makes it worse because it makes you feel guilty about even feeling upset in the first place. And like, that totally just invalidates the way you feel. And this whole idea of not minimizing your problems is conveyed really well in a quote by Viktor Frankl. I actually have uh, his book here, Man's Search for Meaning. This is one of my favorite books. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. Um, Viktor Frankl is a psychiatrist and he's a survivor of the Holocaust and he just has so much wisdom and his, he really uh, explains his experiences throughout this book and he just shares so much wisdom. And I actually wrote down one of the quotes here so that I don't forget it. But on this topic of not comparing your problems to other people's problems, he said, and he said this in the book, he said, a man's suffering is similar to the behavior of a gas. If a certain quantity of gas is pumped into an empty chamber, it will fill the chamber completely and evenly, no matter how big the chamber. Thus, suffering completely fills the human soul and conscious mind, no matter whether the suffering is great or little. Therefore, the size of human suffering is absolutely relative. And I think this is really just important to keep in mind because no matter what you go through, even if it seems really minor in the grand scheme of things, that can totally fill you up with like sadness or anger or whatever it is that you're dealing with. And it's okay to feel those things. Like just because it might seem like a small problem in the grand scheme of things doesn't mean that it's not valid. And it doesn't mean you aren't allowed to have that as a problem in your life. And I've seen this recently. I was I work for an organization that works to end child sexual abuse and a lot of times in this space people even compare their abuse like some people might suffer a more extreme form of abuse than someone else and they might kind of minimize that and say um, like for example they might say oh I was emotion I was emotionally abused as a child but I wasn't physically abused as a child as if being emotionally abused is somehow better than being physically abused and the truth is that like it still affects that person just the same it fills them up just like the gas does as Frankel explains in his quote so the whole reason I'm making this video is just to kind of share this as a reminder that like you don't have to compare your problems to other people's problems because your problems are still valid and I don't know if you've ever heard the quote that's like comparison is the thief of joy like when you go on social media and see people posting all these amazing photos of their trips on Instagram comparing your life to theirs obviously robs you of your joy it makes you feel sad about yourself but I also think along with that is comparing your problems to other people's problems also takes away from how you feel because it it's kind of a way of you invalidating your feelings or um just acting like other people have it much worse than you. And this doesn't mean that there is absolutely no difference between people's problems. Of course, we can look at things and see different scales of issues in the world. But it does mean that there's no difference between the way that problems affect individual people. So everyone's feelings are valid. It doesn't mean you need to be stuck in those feelings. And that's why I like making these kinds of videos because I hope that it helps people kind of get out of feeling stuck. At least that's my hope. Um, so anyway, I hope that this all resonated with you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this topic. And if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, then go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.